so welcome to the last part of metal well not the last part but the last part of my vacation then <laughs> my last day of um, detecting during my vacation so welcome to another part I was going to say of metal detecting in Bavaria <laughs> um, today I'm actually down in the valley again I'm going towards the train bridge in the background this valley, I really enjoy this valley because there's so much history here and you never know what you find. And down here I've done quite a bit to the back of the edges right there systematically. So you can see there's like a tree falling right there. So I've done all that and I had lovely finds. I had coins, musket balls, pieces of cannonballs, a, little bit, a couple of rings I think and so on. And at the background right there, I had lots of musket balls, cannonballs, and the pieces of cannonballs, I must say. You know, fragments of cannonballs from the Nauponic uh, war area. So about, uh, actually I know it's uh, 1797 because the battle was in the background right there, about a click and a half away. Not quite. <clears throat> and so this valley has always had a lot of um, movement in it during the history even I think in the bottom field at the back right there or a little bit further along I actually had from the 30 year war from the Swedish um, some horseshoes small ones and so on so everything is possible but nothing must come of course <laughs> so there you go and just to show you on the map <coughs> So I'm actually right now in that corner right at the bottom right here and these are fields at the top going along there and I forgot actually somewhere there's the map and I can't find it in all my chaos of the other field so <laughs> I can't show you where I'm at directly so there you go but never mind as I have so many permissions, it's always bad to keep up with all the paperwork. So, see you on the first find, on my last day of my holiday, before it goes back to school tomorrow. Okay, see you then. So, today's first find is most likely going to be rubbish. But it's coming in as a 47, 46. 76 so we'll see I don't expect anything really good but one never knows it's pretty if we've had quite a bit of rain and snow and you can hear the train bridge in the background so I presume this is most likely going to be some kind of foil or something like that but one never knows Ninety seven. So let's see. Somewhere here, somewhere. And this is nice and muddy. Blah. And that's like what I thought. Tin foil. There you go. <laughs> First find. So it can only get better. <laughs> okay, off to the next. And another fragment. I don't think this time it's a cannonball because it's not round enough, curving enough. But it's definitely a round and heavy shrapnel piece of something. But never mind, nice piece of iron. If nothing else, nice piece of trash for the <coughs> iron monger. So there you go, scrap metal guy. Okay, off to the next. Okay, it's always hard to find little pieces like this. <laughs> Crazy. But the deers find some. And not quite sure what it is yet. I have to clean it up. But I don't expect it to be anything special. So. 
off to the next. And I know what this is going to be. It's going to be a shield buckle. Nice signal. Thing is, it's going to be complete. Now the back is broken off. Actually, that's a piece missing also. <laughs> but never mind. Beautiful find. I love finding these, especially when they're complete. Right, let's just clear it up a little. It's good when you have snow. <laughs> there, there you go. It's arsenic bronze, we call it Arsene bronze. So, very nice. And these are from around the 1720s, 40s. They can go up into the 1800s. But normally they're around the 1700s. There you go, nicely engraved. So, very nice. And the back is missing. Okay, off to the next. The religious medal from a rosary. And as this is alloy, it is going to be. Yep, it's alloy and it's from the rosary. Yep. The Benedict cross right there in the middle from St. Benedict. And then we have Benedictus on the front. And this is all aluminum or alloy. And this wasn't used until uh, the 1878 or something like that. By 1884, um, they made nearly all of these out of alloy in the Catholic Church. So we know roughly this is going to be somewhere around most likely 1900s, something like that, 1920s, 30s. But never mind, still a nice find. Better than running around this whole valley not finding anything. So, off to the next. And a zinc coin, nothing special, one fennec, somewhere around the 1920s. Okay, off to the next. And we have the first musket ball of the year. <laughs> I knew this field wouldn't let me down. Very nice, nice and heavy, beautiful. Did quite a bit of detecting in the swamp right there, going up and down. And I walked all the way along there, along the edge, all the way to the bottom, did about four or five lanes in between there. And I just started, actually you can see, <coughs> I just finished doing the lanes here. I did like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lanes along here. And didn't find a lot, so I was just going to start Walking over here, there's much too much water in their swamp. And I got myself the musket ball. Good. Okay, let's carry on. So far, not a lot. Got some trash, of course, and a couple of finds, but hey, I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's no town around. There's the railway bridge at the top, and then there's a mill about a kilometer away in that direction. So. Nothing really. At the top there's the main road, but you have to cross the river to get up to that. So, okay, let's carry on. And the second musket ball of the day. Plenty of water already in the hole, so you can imagine how swampy this area is. <laughs> and I'm just heading back to the car in the background. Walking through the middle of the valley. So there you go, musket ball number two. Oh well, not sure if it's the last find I'll have because I just walked about a hundred meter without a find until I came to the musket ball. So, 
we've got about the same distance to go, a little bit over. And, uh, so we'll see. If you, if I don't find anything anymore, we we'll see you at the car for roundup. Okay, let's carry on. So, the end of today's hunt. <laughs> so we've got some iron pieces, of course. Different stuff, you know, like a pen, some kind of other fragment of uh, some kind of tool farming equipment. Sure, this is some kind of shrapnel, but not cannonball, maybe second world war. And then we have modern trash, alloy foil. This is like from a tape measurement. Also, a piece of enameled pot top of a pot or something like that then a buckle just found it also and some more alloy and a piece of copper wire then we got two musket balls presumably from the Napoleonic period because we had the battle here in nine, uh, 1797 then the shield button the religious pendant from a rosary a zinc coin and this little gold colored loop I'm sure it's not gold it's pretty light but it could be from a necklace or from a um, chain or something like that from a watch fob or something you know so no clue so that was it for today I enjoyed it I had fun and all is good the weather, okay, we have like plus two degrees Celsius, the snow is melting, but it's supposed to get colder again and we're supposed to get more snow. And that's it. So hopefully next weekend I'll have time to detect if I don't have uh, things to do in the wood line, but I'm sure on a Sunday I'll find some time to do a little bit of detecting. But until then, you take good care of yourself, keep smiling, have a great day, a uh, great year. <laughs> it's beginning of the year and it's second, my second hunt of the year. So you take good care of yourself. Heads up, keep smiling. And we'll see you next time around. Until then, bye-bye.